Molly Lucas. I'm a customer agronomist with Dow Seeds and today we're going to talk about uh, winter wheat, winter wheat survival and talk about um, what to do with uh, nitrogen applications on some of this wheat crop that's uh, getting pretty big out in the fields right now. So the first thing you can think about is when you planted, whether you planted early, whether you planted in October, so early would be mid-September, end of September, October, and then a late planted crop is in November. If you plant early in September, the wheat just has a longer period of time to grow. You usually want to lower your populations. How wheat survives the winter is it goes into a dormancy phase. And so when it's most dormant is when it's in its tillering phase is what they call it. So you don't want the wheat to be growing tall, you want it to grow horizontal along the ground. So when you're planting in September, you want to give it lots of space so it, it forces the plant to grow out and fill in the, the ground before it starts to grow vertically because um, you want that vertical growth in the spring. If you're planting in October, you're just using your normal seeding rate. And then when you go into November, you want to increase your seeding rate because the plants don't have as long to grow. And so you really need them to force themselves to push each other to get growing and fill in the row as best they can. There's also some frost seeded wheat that just doesn't germinate at all. And that's fine too. It'll survive over the winter and it'll germinate in the spring and you can manage it then. So the biggest thing is over the winter time is when you really want to think about how you planted your wheat and uh, what it looked like going into winter if you did get snow cover. So you can prepare for looking after it in the spring. So with 2015, we had a really warm winter. December really didn't get cold and the wheat was still able to grow a little bit. So there's some really large wheat plants out there. Most of the experts are looking at them and saying that they're gonna be okay. They have a lot of tillers on them already. The biggest thing you have to watch out for is you have a lot of canopy cover. So there's a lot of plant matter in the ground and what it does is, for one thing, it'll insulate the crop. So if we do get some colder weather coming up in March or April, it'll give you some insulation because you've got some leaf tissue to insulate the crown. But you also, if we do get some snow or if you're in an area where they've had some snow cover, when you have that heavy canopy and that lots of green matter, you can sometimes get some snow mold in there. So what happens is, is the snow sits on top of the plants and you get a really uh, humid environment underneath um, the snow cover and it's almost insulated from the really cool temperatures and so some snow mold can grow over the winter. So basically you just need to go out in the spring, you need to look for some dead patches because that would be snow mold. You can usually see either the fungus growing if you're out early enough or you can see the dead leftover fungus that's killed the plants. And that's generally, it's manageable. You just leave the spots if they're small or you can, uh, you can decide whether you need to replant the whole field or anything if it's a really bad case. Your other issue would be with having that large canopy, um, you do get some insulation with the crown. So if we get a day where it drops you know, down to minus nine, minus 10 is where the wheat's really sensitive at this point in the season. So that canopy will actually protect the crown and keep it a little warmer. So going into spring, um, our biggest question is when to put your nitrogen on. We have a crop that's been growing longer than it normally does. Plants are pretty big. A lot of um, growers have wheat that's bigger than it normally is. And basically your rules of thumb are still the same. If you had a late wheat crop going in, you wanna come in early and get on it as soon as you can and get an early application of nitrogen and then come in and do your second application later in the season. Like you normally would, the plants are still about the same. The plants that have three to four tillers on them, as Wheat Pete would say, he calls them a perfect crop. That's your normal window for putting nitrogen on. You can come in and put all your nitrogen on late, um, or if you want to split apply, that's still a good option for that crop. Um, the biggest question mark are, are fields that were planted early and they, they're, they've grown a while and they're big. Those are the ones that you want to wait on your nitrogen application and, and just put it all on late. Um, if you put on an early application, you're going to cause those plants to grow. They're going to grow tall and that's when you start to get into some lodging issues. Last thing I'm going to talk about is when you're assessing stand survival this spring, the best way to do it is to wait until we get three days of 15 degrees Celsius or more. That allows the wheat three days to start growing. I mean, what you want to do is you want to go out. You don't just pick one area in your field. You want to take representative areas throughout your whole field. Um, and just look at your plants and look to see if there are little white, little tiny white roots coming out of the crown area. And the white roots indicate that the plant is actually growing because those are the new roots that are gonna feed it all, all summer. If there's just dead leaves, um, they are not an indication that the crop is dead because the crown still might be alive, as well as green leaves might not be an indication that the plant is alive because the crown could be dead. The key is making sure that crown, which is the little growing point right in the top of the soil, um, you wanna make sure that's alive. So best is to go out to go out into your fields and do an actual field assessment. Um, if you want to, you can bring some, dig some plants that are still frozen, bring them inside, thaw them out, and then wait two or three days to see if they grow. Um, 
It's an okay method, but it's better if you wait and do your in-field assessment. Thanks for watching our video on wheat. We've got a lot of good wheat varieties um, with Dow seeds. We'll be out in uh, wheat crops this, this summer and, and watching to see how our, how our wheat does.